Hi, my name is Chrissy and I'm a Deployment and Life Skills Educator at Fleet and Family Support Center in San Diego. I'm here today to offer you a condensed version of a time management brief that we would bring out to commands. Um, this is meant to be used in conjunction with the global pandemic that we're experiencing. So I have a few tips and tools to address time management. The interesting thing about time management is that time is one of the only finite resources that I can think of. Nobody can buy, sell, barter, or trade more time. Everyone has 24 hours within a day, 365 days in a year. We are given a certain amount of time that we don't necessarily have the option whether to buy more, sell, or have less of. So time is really interesting. Um, I want you to think about these concepts with how they relate to your work environment within your department, within your command, and also how you can translate some of these concepts to your home environment. So the first tool I wanna to bring to you is the Eisenhower theory of time management. This was a theory that was developed by President Eisenhower, the 34th President of the United States. He also had a military background in the Army. Um, and so he likes to divide time into four quadrants. This is my whiteboard here. And he uses the terms important and urgent to talk about that. So in your command, if you have just a plain sheet of paper, it can be lined, it can be rectangle, square, whatever you want, you can actually fold it one way and then fold it another way and then you will have four boxes that we can work you can work on this together as a command with the tasks that you have or within your department so those are the four and if you have one of these with the lines through the middle that makes it that much easier so we're talking about tasks that are important so important would be um, something that's of great significance to me it, it might be success driven value driven or something that relates to um, our well-being um, or someone else's well-being urgent tasks are things that need immediate attention they're usually time sensitive so when we're talking about things that are important and urgent i usually ask for some um, classroom interaction at this point but i'm just going to give you some of those that could be anything that has to do with crisis planning or a, an immediate crisis. So somebody, someone's sick, um, there's a fire, uh, property's getting damaged, something might be stolen, um, that's something that might fall into there. Any pressing problems? And then also anything that's deadline driven. So actually today, when I'm doing recording these briefs, this is deadline driven. Someone needs this at a certain point, so I need to record today. Crisis, pressing problems, and deadline driven. So think about things within your task that are important and urgent. If I have someone bleeding out, that would fall into the area of important and urgent. If we have someone of high rank that needs something from our department right away, that might fall under important and urgent. And usually we can um, assess these pretty quickly, okay? So understanding what those are, putting those into quadrant one, which is usually what we want to tackle first. Once we have tackled this area, we can devote attention to the other areas. So let's move on to quadrant two, which would be urgent, but not important. Okay, so that might be something. So again, this is an would be an urgent would be pressing matters. So I would define those as, for example, any interruptions we have, that could be phone calls and emails. It can be very difficult when we're sitting at our desk if we have um, a phone call or an email that just comes in and comes in and comes in and we don't necessarily know uh, what that is so we just answer it automatically. Um, this could be sometimes pressing matters, okay? Anything that feels like it needs to be completed, um, but doesn't have to be completed immediately. It's not in the important and urgent quadrant. So uh, for example, that might be something like, I've heard a service member talk about, well, we have an eval coming up. It's not until um, summer, so we're gonna start working on it in early spring, and then the people below that will start working on it in fall. 
um, then by the time we push this all through, it might be a completely different product. Um, so again, these are not important so that they relate to um, our overall well-being, but they're urgent because they demand our immediate attention right away. So let's move on to the next one, which is important, but not urgent. So that would be things like any relationship building we have. So if you have like professional development within your workspace, if I'm um, in an intimate partner relationship, this might be something we do like a um, couples retreat. Um, some of the other things could be new opportunities. So I really want to implement some new training in my department. I don't know when, it doesn't have to happen now. I just think it would be really nice if we implemented it sometime soon. And then any long-term planning that we have. So, you know, it might be great to have a better turnover process within our department. It was really great when so-and-so had that nice filing system and organized things so well within our department, but then they moved on and they didn't have a proper way to turn over that stuff. So any long-term planning would fall into that category. And then this one here is the important but not urgent. And this is actually one of the easiest quadrants to fill. So if you can think about that, that would be trivial work we have. Like, oh, we already do this in this area and then this department, why do we need to do it again over here? Um, this could also be some phone calls and some emails, okay? And some emails. My favorite, particular favorite one is when we have the same email that goes through several, several different people before it comes to me. So I get the email, but then it's forwarded three times. Um, that kind of thing can be important, but not urgent. Um, any time wasters or sometimes our pleasant activities. And this is not to say that you should n never be able to do any of your not important, not urgent stuff, but this is something later that I can talk about a way that we can use those as motivators. So this is generally just an idea of how we can categorize our tasks. Maybe within your department, you have some ways that you can fill this out within the things that need to be completed within your day, month, quarter, and a way that you can manage um, within your department. I'm gonna follow up on section two of this in just a moment.